Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Wei Ren. Today, I would like to give a presentation entitled Cosim Heat, an effective heat kernel similarity measure based on billing scale network topology. First, I would like to introduce the background of my research. Many applications require a measure of similarity between objects based on network topology. For example, in Amazon website, we can use similarity search to recommend similar items based on co-purchasing network. Typical, uh, similar applications include retrieving related documents on co-citation graphs, finding similar co-authors on the DVLP collaboration network, and identify communities in social networks. So similarity search based on network topology is very important and imperative. Among the existing pairwise link-based similarity measure, COSIM, COSIM rank proposed by Rossi in ACL 2014 is an attractive one. Due to its simple and intuitive philosophy, the two nodes are evaluated as similar if they are pointed to by similar nodes. Mathematically, the above intuition can be formulated as follows, where S is the cosim rank matrix, lambda is the damping factor, which is typically set to 0 0.6 or 0 0.8, and W is a column normalized adjacency matrix, and I is the identity matrix. Existing work on cosim rank search interpreted the similarity score as the inner product of two personalized page rank vectors with respect to the seed node A and B respectively. Here, P A and K denotes the page personalized page rank vector associated with the seed node A at iteration K, which can be iteratively computed as follows. And initially, the page rank vector is set as the unit vector whose eighth entry is one and zero elsewhere. However, existing work on cosim rank suffers from two limitations. The first limitation is the dead loop problem of the cosim rank. That is, for any networks with cycles, cosim rank similarity has leakages in circular references. Let's look at this toy example. We can see there is a circular references here from B, D, C, when we evaluate the similarity between the node A and F, we can imagine that there are two random sufferers starting at A and F, then they are going against the in-linked edges and will go to B and D. The similarity of B and D can be computed by their parent B and C, so on and so forth we can see the two random suffers will chase each other endlessly and will never meet at the same node. As a result, the similarity pairs of A and F will be evaluated as zeros. The second limitation is uh, the scalability on large graphs. Existing work on a cosim rank similarity search has high computational cost. Uh, recent work uh, for improving the cosim rank similarities include uh, sim mate and f cosim, and they are still rather costly and will require the quadratic memory space, which hides the scalability on billion sized graphs. Then inspired by this, in this paper, we propose uh, a new model called cosim heat, which is based on heat diffusion mechanisms. The basic idea of our heat diffusion model is based on the temperature. We first introduce the notation T, X, Y of T, which denotes the average temperature between the two nodes X and Y at the time T. Then the variation of this temperature from the time T to T plus delta T consists of three parts. The first part is the total amount of heat received at node X from all its in neighbors, denoted as H minus X prime. And the second part is the total amount of heat received at node Y from all its in neighbors. And the third part is the total amount of heat 
that know the X and the Y diffuse to all their outer neighbors during the period. So when we rearrange the terms, according to the law of the heat diffusion, you see uh, the H plus this part is proportional to the period delta T, period length, and the temperature between the node X and the Y at the time T. And similarly, uh, these two parts, it can also be represented as follows. Then when we substitute all these items into the equation, we can get the following result. When we divide it by delta T on both sides and taking the delta T approaches to approaches zero, then we can get the following differential equation, which is called heat diffusive cosine heat model. And the, the solution to this model is not unique and up to a constant factor. To guarantee the uniqueness, we also need to specify an initial condition where the temperature at the time t is zero. So this is our initial condition, which consists of two parts. We introduce a high parameter theta, which balances the importance of the two type of similarity at the initial stage. But theta is a constant vector user specified between zero and one. For the first part of similarity is the neighborhood based equivalent similarity, which is based on the intuition that two nodes tend to be similar if their neighboring structures, for example, the out degree centralities are similar. And the second type of similarity is called distance-based similarity, which is based on the intuition that two nodes that are close to each other with fewer hops are likely to be similar. As a toy example, the first part of the similarity when the theta is zero, you can see uh, there's only second part take will be effective. So this is the based distance-based similarity we can see the similarity between A and B is larger than the similarity between AC because AB is closer than AC, which is based on the distance between the two nodes. And another extreme case where C is one, so all the sim nodes similarities are the same. This is based on their local structures because they are isomorphically equivalent. And in practice, we will set theta to a value between zero and one, which can capture the both types. Next, we provide theoretical justifications on the search quality. We have proved that our proposed cosine heat similarities satisfy the following four properties. The first one is the boundedness. The similarity score of cosine heat is between zero and one. The second is the symmetry. And the third one is the transitivity. That is, if we denote the distance function between the two nodes as one minus the cosine heat similarity score, then this distance function will satisfy the following triangle inequality, which has the intuitive meaning that given any three nodes in the graph, A, B, C, when A is similar to B, B is similar to C, this implies that node A is also similar to C. And the last uh, properties of cosine heat is that uh, there's no leakages in cycles. We have theoretically provided this, uh, proof of these similarities in our paper. So as compared with other similarity measures that comes from the same rank families and other Jacquardian and cosine similarity, we can see that for most of the models, they cannot satisfy the last properties. Next, uh, we provide uh, optimization techniques to speed up uh, the cosine heat uh, search on large graphs. So first, uh, we represent our cosine heat uh, diffusion models in, in, for, in the following matrix notations, where ST is the cosine heat similarity matrix, whose AB entries denote the average temperature between the node A and B at the time T. And A is the graph adjacency matrix, and B is our degree vector. I is the identity matrix. 
M and N denotes the number of nodes and edges in the graph, respectively. We have proved that the above closed the recursive form has the following closed form solution S, which is an exponential matrix function times the initial temperature and times the exponential function. And when we substitute the initial temperature into this closed form, we can split this closed form into two parts for partial pairs computation. The first part, we observed that this our degree vector, it can be decomposed as a rank one matrices. As a result, when we combine the matrix multiplications as follows, we can get this short column vector for the left part. And same reason, we can get this short row vector for the right part. That is to say, this first part can be decomposed as a rank one matrices. And for the second part, we observe that the term in the bracket is symmetric. Thus, to efficiently compute this part, we can see it depends on the size of M and N. When the size of N is smaller than the size of M, then we can use right to left parentheses to do the matrix multiplications. Otherwise, we will use left to right associated laws from matrix products. Now finally, uh, we have conducted experimental results on the different data sets to demonstrate the efficiency and effectiveness of our method. We first uh, use the following data sets from the DBLP and English World Graph, and other data sets are from the Stanford SNAP data set. We also compare the following algorithms. And our set, the first set of the experiment is uh, the search quality. We use uh, the following accuracy metrics, MAP, um, this is Kendall Tau distance, and Spearman and NDCG. These are the qualitative results on the search quality on DBLP and English world graph. We can see on each data set and each met accuracy metrics, the cosine heat similarity is uh, highly effective. We also investigated the impact of the hyperparameter theta, the similarity type uh, on both data sets. We vary theta from zero to one on each data set. And we can see on um, the DBLP graph, when theta is around 0 0.2, then the accuracy is higher because it can capture both the isomorphic equivalent and the distance-based similarities in a unified manner. Uh, the similar trend is on the English world graph. We have also provided two case studies. For the DBLP, uh, we search the co-authors that is most similar to a given person, say Professor Christos Flotos. We can see the results returned by the cosine heat is, uh, we can see the results returned by the cosine heat has high accuracy. And similarly, we have also do the experiment to retrieve the synonyms with respect to the given word C diminish on the English world graph. And this is uh, the qualitative results returned by the cosine heat. And we can see for the top K results, uh, there are three words that have been retrieved in the ground truth data. The second type of experiments is the time efficiency on real data sets. We can see on each data set, our algorithms is significantly faster than the existing competitors due to our rank one fracturization and the right to left parentheses. And this is uh, the effect of varying the size of M and N for partial pair queries. And when the M and N grows, we can see the time is growing linearly, which, is, uh, agree which agrees well with our expectations. The last set of experiments is the space efficiency. We can see our algorithms have comparable memory usage with other algorithms. And when vary the query size and the 
memory usage as also increases the linear. Finally, in conclusion, in this work, we have proposed a scalable graph theoretical model, namely cosine heat based on heat diffusion mechanisms. We have showed that the proposed model fulfills the four axioms, boundedness, symmetry, transitivity, and no leakages in cycles, while circumventing the deadly problem of the cosine rank similarities. We have also proposed optimization techniques to speed up the cosine heat search on massive graphs. And our experimental results validate the effectiveness and efficiency of the cosine heat. And in our future work, we will extend this model to decentralized environments for more AI and web-driven applications, such as multi-view clustering, web extraction, and proximity embeddings. Uh, that's all for today's presentation. And thank you for your listening. Thank you, Ayran. Okay. Thanks for your presentation. Okay. If there is any question from the audience, feel free to unmute yourself and ask it or type it in the chat as you prefer. We have a couple of minutes for questions. Is there any question from the audience? Okay, I'll start with a question and meanwhile, uh, feel free to, to type your questions in the chat and we can take them after uh, my question. Um, so we're in very interesting work. Uh, uh, I have a number of questions, but let me just uh, uh, ask, uh, um, I was interested about the effect of uh, theta, as you showed in the plot, uh, uh, 0 0.2 appeared to give you the best effectiveness. So I wonder whether um, this value of 0 0.2 is consistent across the data sets you have used. Is that the right value to use in all situations? And also whether the difference between say 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 is, is somehow statistical significant, right? Or is just a, a minor because it looked very small in the plot, thank you. Yes, uh, thank you for these questions. And that's a good point. Uh, I think uh, currently we have only experimentally um, tested on these real data sets. One is for the DBLP and another is for English world graph. And our experimental results shows that uh, on DBLP, when theta is set around 0 0.2 to 0 0.3, so we can achieve uh, highest uh, accuracy among all the theta settings. And for English uh, world graph, and this uh, theta can be slightly a bit larger, which is uh, around uh, 0 0.3. So uh, we cannot find a very strong theoretical guarantee of why this theta is just between 0 0.2 and it's the highest accuracy, but this is just uh, from our experiment. I think. Um, more research can be investigated in this direction. 